Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to my channel. Today it's Photo Friday, so we're going to talk about a few different things, including behind the scenes and a look at my mate Pete's book. Hey folks, it's Friday and I had a new toy which I kind of introduced last week, which is this, the Remove Move UK one. Lots of different people pronouncing it different ways. Um, it's a gimbal, basically, and let me just unlock the bits that need to unlock first of all. Otherwise, it'll start giving me error messages and power it up. So it'll shoot 4K, it'll also shoot uh, 1080, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Slow-mo in it and everything, all that. So it's very, very handy for behind the scenes and that's what I've done with it. So I'm going to show you Right now, before I do it now, I'm going to show you a shoot that I did during the week with Laura. Also with uh, Ava uh, doing makeup and then Frankie from the face doing hair. So here we go. Hey folks, just at the studio, going to be shooting with Laura today. I have Ava doing makeup and I think Laura's bringing Frankie to do hair. <laughs> So folks, hope you enjoy that. Uh, I still have a bit of work to do on the skin on some of those. I've kind of, I did them quickly, the edits a bit quickly, so the skin is softer than I'd like it to be. But hey, out this week as well is my mate Pete's book. It's lighted up. Uh, it's the second edition. The first edition, I did say I wish it was I had written about it. You know, I wish it was the book I'd written because it's genuinely that good. It, it takes a fundamental approach to looking at light, so it talks about all of the gear that you need. It starts off basically with. The, uh, the four properties of life, which is quality, quantity, direction and colour. And that's how I would start off a class talking about them. And he does that first. Then he goes on to all of the gear that you would need to get started, how to use the camera on flash, bouncing it and all that kind of stuff and modifiers that you can use for that. And that's followed by uh, looking at one light situation. What do you need to get your light off camera? All of the stuff you need to do that. Then there's case studies of what goes on to basically loads of different ideas for single light shots. But 
just not just doing like random shots with umbrellas, but how to do it creatively. Then he go, moves from there to adding more lights, combining lights, more powerful lights, and then more case studies as well. So it's, it's quite thorough. And uh, like I say in my review, which I've linked below, it's on my new website. It's uh, 30 year, thirty pages worth of gear acquisition syndrome. You know, so there's a lot of good gear and information about new and up-to-date gear as well, which is perfect for somebody learning about off-camera flash right now today. As I think from reading books that are older and out of the day, talking about gear from even gear from two years ago is completely out of date now because of the revolution that's been coming along with people like Profoto and Godox as well with the stuff that they've brought out as well. So there is a discount code that I have, which is uh, Sean20. It'll give you 20% off until the 10th of April. Uh, so well worth getting. And uh, yeah, so that's really all I can say about it. I mean, it's a re- really a genuinely good book. That's not to say I'm not going to write a book myself in the future. It won't be too similar because uh, I'm coming from a completely different, different direction than Pete and I would include more studio stuff as well. But anyway, that book is definitely well worth getting. Links below uh, to the actual review uh, where you can see the review. But in the meantime, if you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you thought of my behind the scenes with this, because the whole point of this is to do more behind the scenes. Now, it's not amazing in low light, but I think it did a pretty good job. It's the same sensor as the Hero 4. So it was pretty good with that. And uh, the stabilization really works. Frankie, of course, was loving the joystick for his behind the scenes bits, flipping it backwards and forwards. But hey, you know, that's it. There's still clips from it showing me shooting. I, I have none otherwise. So, folks, thank you for taking time to watch this. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm up to 4,000. If I hit 10,000, uh, I'll start to get more help from Google themselves. So if you haven't subscribed and you do like what I'm doing on the channel, please do subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. Share it on social media and stuff like that. Folks, thank you again. And I will see you in the next video.